Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something Italianish, but it's not entirely authentic. I'm going to make beef and vegetable risotto. But before we start, a shout out to Nick Nick, who recently discovered the channel and seems to be binge watching every single video, which is fine by me. I wish more people would do that. <laughs> And also to English Guineas JB, I think that's how you say it, who requested beef risotto a la Vesta. Now you may recall a few weeks ago I did a review of Vesta chow mein because I found some in a supermarket and um, then had to go make my own. Sadly Vesta beef risotto is out of production and there's actually a huge group on Facebook dedicated to getting it brought back. Well with the uh, recent chow mein experience it, it might not be so great if they do bring it back because they seem to just completely ignore the original recipe and do whatever they like and i think i must have had vesta's beef risotto but i can't honestly i can't remember what it was like but i've seen comments where people say it was really really beefy flavored and the product description says it's rice with chopped and shaped beef soya mince and vegetables which isn't a lot to go on anyway i'll do my best i'm sure it'll be wonderful if you enjoy this video Give it a like, share, subscribe, make a comment, tell me what you think, and let's get on with it. Beef risotto a la Vesta-ish. Okay, ingredients for the risotto. I've got 200 grams of minced beef, 200 grams of rice, a small carrot, a few mushrooms, a small onion, a little bit of green pepper, capsicum, a little bit of red bell pepper, about a litre of beef stock, and a teaspoon of garlic granules or, you know, a couple of fresh garlic cloves, a teaspoon of sage, a teaspoon of oregano, a sploosh of olive oil and salt and pepper to taste. You notice I glossed over the rice because we need to talk about that in some detail. It is the most critical part of the dish, obviously. You need to use the right kind of rice, um, but it doesn't have to be as precise as some Italians would have you believe. In the UK, what's normally sold as risotto rice is arborio. In Italy, they would probably use carnaroli or any one of half a dozen different varieties. But the point is, they're all short grain and starchy, which means they can absorb a lot of moisture while, while they're cooking without turning to mush. The eagle-eyed among you will notice I've got paella rice. It's short grain in Spain. It's, uh, it's a variety called bomba. And I got this because it's considerably cheaper at Morrison's than what they sell as a risotto rice. And on their risotto rice, they do not tell you what variety it is, which I think is a bit suspicious. Top and tail and peel the onion. And chop the onion finely. Then we'll do the mushrooms, uh, just brush off any dirt that might be on them. I'm going to grate the carrot. And then we just want some bits of red and green bell pepper. Okay, we're about ready to start cooking. So I'm gonna put the stock into a pan. And we'll put that on the stove because it needs to be kept simmering throughout the cooking process. Okay, let's cook. So, good glug of Evo in the pan thing. Now we switch the noisy pan thing on. So I've got a bit of onion in there and it's sizzling, so the oil is hot enough to start adding the onion. We'll let that cook for about five minutes till it's softened, but not brown. Then we'll add the mushrooms. Just let those cook for a few minutes. Then we'll add the carrots and the red and green bell peppers. And give those a couple of minutes. Then we add the meat and get that browned all over. 
Now we can add the rice. Give that a good stir, get it all coated and glistening. And then we'll start adding stock. So we want a good cupful to start with. All right, two cupfuls. Keep stirring that, and when the liquid is absorbed, add more. And basically, this will take about 20 minutes for the rice to be cooked and all the liquid to be absorbed. Now we can add our flavourings, garlic powder, sage, Yeah, I said a teaspoon before, didn't I? I think that's too much, but we shall see. Okay, that's more or less gone. It's starting to catch on the bottom of the pan. So we'll add some more. And a bit more. Right, I'm going to taste a little bit of the uh, liquid while we've still got some. Definitely need salt. And some pepper while we're at it. That's better. Right, we've actually had uh, 30 minutes, so let's try it. Got some serious flavour building up there. The rice is still a teeny bit al dente. So I'll just put the last bit of stock in and cook that down and then I think we're done. Okay there we go, nice dry risotto and uh, completely optional bit of cheese. And you'd expect parmesan or grana padano but I forgot to get any <laughs> so I've got mature cheddar which will work splendidly anyway, because this is actually British risotto. It's not pretending to be Italian in any way. So there you go. Right, here we go. And do you know what? <laughs> Just saying this is British risotto. It should have peas in it. And I completely, completely forgot. Honestly. It's not the end of the world that it hasn't got peas in it, because Everything else is just fantastic. Yeah, it might seem like a bit of a faff, but some faffs are worth doing, and this is one of them. I like it. I think you will too, if you can be bothered to make it. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.